Mmm, shine bright like a diamond, girl. Hello, everybody. It's Julie. Welcome back to my channel. Buenvenidos, chona team. Let's do this. I know I said just good morning, but honestly, I woke up a few hours ago and I took a shower to film this video and I fell asleep. And then my hair dried. <laughs> so, I have to re-wet my hair. Somebody asked, well, one person asked to make a hair tutorial video about how I crimp my hair. So thank you for asking, and I hope this video um, helps you. So now, uh, it's pretty easy. I wanted me to share all the products that I use, the exact ones, and I'm gonna be honest, I think there are way better products that will give you better results um, when it comes to like uh, volumizing your hair, the text, you know, texture, all that stuff. I think there are better products out there, but you asked me to mention the exact ones that I use to achieve this look. So that is what I am doing here today. So I'm actually gonna re-wet my hair because um, it dried. <laughs> So, but honestly, when I put in product, I don't put in product in my hair when it's soaking wet, only because the only time I do that is when I do a leave-in conditioner or um, a detangler because I just hold so much water in my hair that I end up squeezing all of that out anyways. So I wait until my hair is a bit damp and then I'll put in the products. I think it just works better that way for my hair. Now let's get into the products that I use, starting from the shampoo and conditioner. So the shampoo and conditioner I use by Paul Mitchell. It's their tea tree uh, collection. This is what I'm using right now, but let me just tell you, I know this is not a good start to the video, but I actually don't like this because only because of the smell. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. And the reason why I got it was because at the time I had a really dry scalp. So it looked like I had like just dandruff everywhere. And I was like, okay, I need something moisturizing. And when I was getting my hair cut that day, my hairdresser told me to try this. And I think I was just in such desperate want to get rid of my dry scalp. I didn't even smell it. I was just like, yeah, 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 I'll get it, I'll get it. I went home and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells like Whole Foods or like any natural food store. That's what it smelled like and I know some people like that smell but I do not. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> so it smells like super natural, like hippie, like you know, like and I don't really like it but you know what, it does the job so that's why I didn't return it. I got it to fix my dry scalp anyways and it fixes it so I'm just gonna keep it. No, I mean, nothing against the smell of Whole Foods, it's just not my scent, I guess, that I'm, that I really like, I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's the Lavender Mint Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. It's this one right here, and then it's this one right here. Now, it says tea tree, and I know most tea tree products are supposed to be like tingling on the scalp and all that stuff, but this has no, like, this has no tingling effect at all. I use a Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer from It's a 10. So you can get this at, I think, like Target, or I don't know if you can get it at Walmart, but I got mine at Target. I believe it was like 12 or $13. I will try to leave links below so you guys don't have to like Google everything and search for it yourself. I'll try to link everything below so it's easy peasy for you so you know where to get it. This one is a very like fine mist uh, that I spray all over my hair. like. I literally go all over like underneath and underneath by the nape area and even like to the middles of my hair and the ends just because I want my hair to be like big. And then this one is a extra firm control, uh, vol is it a volumizing mousse? I think it's just an extra hold mousse. So, so this is what I use to, actually this smells so good. Um, I actually just use this to kind of give me like I guess if I'm like curling my hair or crimping my hair, it just kind of gives me, um, it, it helps hold the curl or whatever texture that I'm trying to create in my hair. It just holds it better. So that's why I use that. And then this is a, a volumizing concentrate that keeps hair up for hours. Go big treatment. It's it's a um, thickening treatment for your hair. I 
feel like it kind of works but it makes your hair a little bit sticky these two products will make your hair a teeny bit sticky but um yeah and this is like the travel size one because i think the bigger one was like super expensive i almost want to say it was like 30 dollars or something and i was like hell no i'm not gonna pay for that especially when i haven't even tried it yet so i got this one i think this one was either 11 or 15 dollars i got it at ulta so yeah this is the Bumble and Bumble. This is Tresemme. And then this is, oh my God. My God. I'm so sorry. This one is, it's a 10. Jesus, that was so dramatic. Like, it wasn't even that big of a deal. Um, I'll use, it's a 10. And I just, see how light it is? And I just spray it all over my hair. Like that, oh my God, it smells delicious. Oh, so good. Oh my god. I like sprayed it right in my freaking eye. It went all over my forehead. Okay, so I'll focus on like this area right here. So you can already see like the texture it's already giving me. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, my lips are super chapped. But it's kind of giving me, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> texture already before we get into the next product i want to use i do want to mention let's talk about my hair type because listen if you have super curly hair and you do the exact steps that i'm doing right now obviously you're not going to achieve the same look because you're starting out with a completely different base you know so let's talk about that my hair is super fine and i have tons of it but um it's also straight with a slight wave and i think that kind of helps like hold the curls as well and because i use the tresemme extra firm volumizing or why do i keep calling it volumizing extra firm mousse is that pretty much it with my hair i don't know oh i forgot to mention brush your hair first and then put in the products but i think that's kind of common sense right i don't know but if you did it brush your hair and then put it on the products Okay, now I'm going to put um, the thickening spray. This one, I am also gonna concentrate on the same areas um, as the It's a 10 thing that I used. Mmm, it smells so good. So now, if your hair is super thin, you know, don't be using this much product. Keep in mind, be aware of the hair texture and the hair type that you have, because if you have thin hair and you have shorter hair than me then you're not going to have to use all this product you know because what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up weighing your hair down and instead of volumizing your hair it's going to do the complete opposite and weigh it down you know so anyways so i put use a little lump like this and then what i do with this is i put it like this and then i also focus around my hairline like that and then i'll just run it through even through the middle parts of my hair okay another little lump and i'm gonna kind of put it like in the middle like that just only a little bit on the middle and the ends. I am going to blow dry my hair and also heat up the uh, tool, the crimper that I'm gonna use. Oh my gosh, I didn't even mention the crimper. Okay, so hello, this is like the most important part of this video. So the crimper I use is from Revlon, it's so old. This is what it looks like. And then this, and then when it's, when it's closed, it looks like that. And then um, it has the on and off button right there. And then it has like the heat adjusting thing right there. Okay, I looked this up on Amazon to see how much it was because I couldn't find it in stores anywhere. But it was like $54. And I'm sorry, but there is no way that I paid $54 for this. Mm -mm. No, there's no way I would have paid for that. I'm pretty sure I paid like at max like $35 or something, but I don't know, I can't find it anywhere. So the link below, I I mean, I will leave the link to this one also, but my friend actually um, crimps her hair as well, but she uses a different tool and it was only like 
think like $20 from Amazon and uh, there's a bunch of reviews on that as well so you can check all that out before you buy it and it gives like the same effect I think it might be a tiny bit smaller than this one because uh, I think this gives just like a wider but honestly I haven't seen it yet so uh, but her crimp looked almost like identical to mine so I'm gonna put that link below as well because I mean I just because I just feel like the $54 is no -uh, mm -mm, that is too much don't be paying $54 for this okay now I'm gonna blow dry my hair pretty much like dry and then I start I switch the heat over to um, either medium or low done I wanted to show you guys so this is another um, barrel curling iron I use from Con Air when I sometimes crimp my hair um, it looks like a cone and sometimes I'll use this to make it look more natural hold on I have to get this wow that's so beautiful oh wow so you can build sand castles Okay, love you. Love you. Miss you. Miss you too. Look at this. Okay, now that I have blow dried my hair, I'm gonna brush this out. After you um, crimp your pieces, your pieces, after you crimp your hair, try not to touch it so much because then it's gonna get frizzy. Okay, now that I've brushed it out, um, I'm going to grab a clip and I'm going to do crimp each piece separately. I don't take that too thick of pieces because then um, like it's not really gonna crimp because the heat has to go through all that hair. So I'm trying to do like a pretty good amount. Not too thin, not too, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna brush out the hair first before I crimp it. Now, I have it on the highest settings, but like my hair um, is in really good condition and I don't know. And plus this is really old, so I feel like I need to put on the highest one. So I just take like um, a medium to thin piece of hair and I'm going to hold it. I, it really depends. I hold it for like maybe 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna go down. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I try to like follow the pattern. One, two, three, four, like the crimp pattern. So I'm like, okay, now it's over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Sometimes I leave the ends out. It's hot, but I think I can do it this time. If you make the ends like straight, um, then it'll look cuter too. But you can, I mean, can you guys see? My hair is so long. So there you go, that's the end. Now, I don't, I don't really touch this because it's gonna get, like it's gonna lose its shape, it's gonna get um, frizzy, so I don't really touch it. So now I'm gonna brush the other side. I hope you guys can see it. And when I'm crimping my hair, I hold my iron like this. So like the top part, like the two, what is this called? Poles, bar, the two poles part are facing like out. That's how I hold it. Does that make sense? Okay, one, two, three. When I get more towards the top of my hair, I don't hold it down as long because um, I just don't want it look, to look like Top Ramen or like George Washington. 
or like those judges the old day judges I don't want to look like that <laughs> and so I don't hold it down for too long and then sometimes I don't do it straight across like this sometimes I'll angle it like that um, but that's more when I go towards like up in the middle portion of my head Guys, I'm losing light. Okay, this is important because it's the top of the hair. You don't want to be looking like George Washington. You don't want to look like that. So, when I do the front pieces, like right here, I don't hold it down for a long time. I literally just hold it for like a few seconds. That's it. Because I don't want like a hard crimp. You know what I mean? I just want like a light one because... Um, oh, and sometimes, like, instead of doing it straight across, I'll go like this. Um, but I, like, move my hair different all the time. So, like, literally for, like, a second, I'm not even... But then the second clamp, I'll go a little bit longer. And then after that, um, I will go, like, the normal... Oh, my God, I'm sweating. It's so hot. Can you guys even see? So, yeah, like, the first... The first clamp I do at the top of my head, I literally do it for like maybe one or two seconds. So it's like barely there because you don't want it to be like so pronounced that you look like, you know, George Washington. Or you know what I'm talking about, right? In the back, I'll just do the normal amount of time. Pressing it down. Whew, it is so hot. I love doing my hair like this. Okay, so I am done. What do you guys think? I love it. It's so shiny. I don't even need to put like shine spray or anything. Mmm, shine bright like a diamond, girl. I hope you guys can see this because I'm not, I'm not even looking at the selfie cam. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I hope you guys achieve the same look as me. Okay, now I wanna show you guys how it looks when I kind of like flip it onto the other side, cause I do that a lot. So this is what it looks like when I kind of have it all to one side. Just a big, you know, lots of hair, lots of hair. All right guys, so that was my hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like crimping your hair is not that hard, so hopefully you guys it'll be easy for you guys and hopefully it was just kind of like an easy breezy video for you guys to learn from let's all be kind to each other and kind to ourselves and i hope you guys have the most amazing amazing day ever bye i gotta tell you something i could do